Is it the undulating hills of the west or the plain savannas of the north? Is it the gushing waters of the Nile or the massive fresh waters of Lake Victoria? Is it the thick rainforest of Windy or the numerous lakes that dote the country? One could say any or a combination of all these and more merged to create the unmatched beauty of Uganda, a country that mesmerized the first visitors and was thus called the Pearl of Africa. Uganda is a country of 30 million people located in the East African hinterland. A delightful place with its welcoming diverse people and cultures and an agreeable warm climate. Entebbe International Airport is the main gateway to the landlocked country for an international traveler. It's currently served by 16 international airlines which operate scheduled flights to and from Entebbe, serving all major international destinations worldwide. The airport also offers connection to the rest of the region due to Uganda's geographical location in the heart of Africa and is an excellent entry point, particularly to the Great Lakes region. It is well equipped with state-of-the-art safety standard facilities to handle both local and international flights. The airport staff are on hand to handle passengers on arrival. Entry into Uganda requires a visa, which can be obtained on arrival at the airport or at various Uganda missions abroad. Members of the Comesa countries do not require a visa to travel to Uganda. Once in the country, Uganda is served by a well-maintained network of roads that will take a traveler to any of the varied destinations. An African safari merits a spot on your itinerary when you're traveling to Uganda. With nine national parks and several game reserves, each has its own ecological uniqueness and is found in a different part of the country. Murchison Falls National Park is Uganda's largest park. It is 3,840 square kilometers of untamed African savanna bisected by the mighty river Nile. It's named after the gushing waters of the Murchison Falls and has by far the biggest number of game. On a morning game ride, one can see graceful giraffes and encounter members of the Big Five basking in the African sunshine. The Kazinga Channel in Queen Elizabeth National Park is a superb safari territory. Almost 100 mammals and a remarkable 606 bird species call this park home. Most can be seen along this waterfront. Elephants share a swim with schools of hippos. A dazzling variety of water birds can also be seen here. Windy, impenetrable Forest National Park and Gahinga are host to more than half of the entire world mountain gorilla population, now estimated to be approximately 720. This endangered species, the closest primate to humans in characteristics, which was once headed for extinction, has been growing in number thanks to Uganda and her neighbors' conservation efforts. Accommodation facilities have been set up in the tranquil environment of the national parks to make the safari a complete getaway experience. Mwea Safari Lodge, located in Queen Elizabeth National Park, is one of the facilities that command respect for catering to the needs of a discerning visitor. Uganda 
successfully hosted the Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting, Chogum, the supreme body of the Commonwealth that is held every two years in 2007. As part of the preparation for the event, the country experienced unprecedented investment in the hotel and hospitality sector. It now boasts some of the best facilities in the region for hosting international conferences and events. Kampala Serena Hotel hosted the opening ceremony of Chogum. It's a five-star, 152-room hotel whose architecture takes inspiration from a central water theme. It boasts of 17-acre grounds with a central feature of a seven-meter waterfall, providing a haven for calm in the middle of the growing metropolis, Kampala. The main auditorium, Victoria Hall, is equipped to accommodate up to 1,500 delegates. It's suitable for a multitude of functions which include national and international conferences, social and corporate events. Committee rooms to cater for smaller and medium-sized numbers of delegates have capacity ranging from 70 delegates up to 150. They're also available in diverse sitting arrangements to suit varied styles of meetings. Recreational activities are available at the superb Maisha Health Club, a world-class spa where one can retire to rejuvenate their energy, picking from any one of the many activities, from hitting the gym to swimming or simply relax and be pampered in the different massage and treatment rooms. Speak Resort and Country Lodge is a luxurious resort located on the shores of Lake Victoria in Munyonyo, only 12 kilometers from the heart of Kampala City. It's spread over 50 acres of land. Located on the same grounds is Munyonyo Commonwealth Resort, built for the 2007 Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting Chogum, and was used as the retreat for the visiting presidents and prime ministers during the conference. It's now been converted to create 114 five-star bedrooms and suites, offering the ultimate in luxury, leisure and conference facilities in East Africa. It boasts of state-of-the-art conference rooms, including a 1,000-seat ballroom and nine multifunction meeting rooms accommodating groups of 10 to 300 people. Just 45 minutes drive from Entebbe International Airport, within easy reach of Kampala Central Business District, is the Kampala Sheraton Hotel. A variety of conferencing facilities are available here, from the two executive boardrooms for up to 12 people to the Renzori Ballroom, which accommodates up to 450 people. The hotel boasts of up to 218 well-equipped guest rooms, which include royal suites and classic rooms, among others. All rooms are designed to be comfortable retreats for the busy traveler. Under the Imperial Group are two hotels located in the tranquil Entebbe town, only seven minutes drive from Entebbe International Airport. The Botanical Beach has 229 sleeping luxury rooms and a convention center. A perfect place for a retreat with facilities overlooking the magnificent Lake Victoria. Imperial Resort Beach Hotel is a five-star hotel built on 27 acres of land on the shores of Lake Victoria. This ideal meeting point has 181 rooms on four floors and extensive conference and banquet facilities, 24-hour restaurant and bar facilities. Other internationally renowned brands like the Hilton Hotel have seen the potential in the Ugandan market. 
The first Hilton Hotel in Uganda, Hilton Kampala Hotel, is under construction. Furnished apartments for short-term stay and those seeking a more homely environment are available in the various parts of the city Kampala. Prices differ according to one's spending power. Local and international cuisine are in plenty in the many restaurants dotted around the city. Kampala, the capital city, is one of the most secure places to live, which explains the vibrant nightlife and entertainment. Revelers dance to the pulsating rhythms of local and international music in trendy nightclubs. The local music scene is alive with young talent being recognized and appreciated. Their stage performances draw adoring patrons to listen and dance till the wee hours of the morning. Traditional dance, music and entertainment are still highly cherished. Places of worship and historical significance are abundant for those seeking spiritual retreat, like the Namugongo Martyr's Shrine, a place of meaning for a lot of Christians. Uganda offers a luxurious, rejuvenating experience and is ideal for business and policy meetings and retreats. <laughs>